Good evening, you movers. As you may well know, we are showcasing the Racing Muller Charger 4. But I wanted to do a bit of an experience ride with a bit of a difference. One of the amazing things about Racing Muller is just how important they take safety. So, on the Charger 4, it has the Supernova Mini 2 on, on the front of it. And we're going to take it home. So, it'll be about 7 miles, as you see. It's starting to get quite dark. So, Daylight Saving has just come on. Um, on the front, I say it's a Supernova Mini 2, which seems really, really bright. Not sure whether you can see it. So, fantastic front beam. Um, on the back, we have our main lights as well. So, I'm going to take off from um, you move headquarters here and I'm going to see if we can get a little bit of footage in, in between. Okay, I'll let you know how it goes. Hello you movers. I just wanted to jump on really quickly. I wasn't actually planning on doing an immediate follow-up on this. Um, but I have to say, that is my first time ever doing a night ride, ever. Uh, quite a few of the bits were absolutely pitch black. A couple of bits that had come along, maybe two miles. I was absolutely stunned just how safe I felt. Um, for such a little light, um, the, the amount of beam that it gives off is absolutely incredible. Um, I was at full pace for quite a, a bit of it, um, which felt absolutely thrilling. Um, just wanted to show you some of the, the stats and I touch on a couple of things that really, really help just by listening to it fresh in my mind. The pedals. Um, I know I definitely wouldn't have went this fast if I didn't have those pedals. My foot. I just wore trainers. Not sure whether you can see. Uh, they would have slipped. I know they would have slipped. I've been on the, my other bike a hundred times. Um, but it felt absolutely planted on them. It felt amazing. The comfort. Um, I've done lots and lots of reviews actually about this bike. Um, and about racing with her generally. But the comfort uh, coming home. I didn't actually worry about any of the potholes. Anything like that. Hit quite a few. Because I couldn't, simply couldn't see them. No, no issues whatsoever. Um, then, probably the last bit for me was uh, this hat's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? But it uh, keep, keeps you safe and a runny nose. All the boot. So, the main thing for me was this this little piece actually saved me and would have actually convinced me to buy the entire bike. Now, I hope I get it. It is the display. So, that is the Kiosk 300. So, as I was able to cycle along, uh, let me just check and get all this in. Yeah, okay. So, what I was able to do was to get all, all the, the readings off it. So, uh, give me my range, my output, and would have connected to my smartphone the whole way along. I was getting my power and watts and my, my RPMs. The time was really, really handy particularly if you have people waiting at home for you. And then the speed. It, it, felt, it was phenomenal to see it. And then that's the distance. So 12.7 in about just over 34 minutes. And that's with me start stopping. So as I say, I wasn't actually planning on this uh, at all. I jumped on it because my, the bike that I rode in on, uh, just I couldn't get home on it. Um, and I think that's it really. Um, I cruised past maybe a half a dozen to a dozen cyclists who were clearly terrified um, uh, cycling home in, in the dark as you see that's how dark it is um, so uh, so yeah absolutely stunning so um, if I didn't own an e-bike company and I didn't own uh, a Charger 4 already I absolutely would buy one and it's not just the sales um, I felt so so safe um, and I think that's one of the things even I forget um, as I'm retailing these. Yes, they have terrific engines and, and, and power and they look stunning. All those great things. But I felt so safe on a night ride and I'm actually now bursting to go out again. 
and I'm going to take it back in uh, next time and I'll see whether I can get a GoPro done for you. Alright, love that, thank you.